Alright, what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to another Feature Friday. Today I'll be featuring a game called Storm the City where you play as a necromancer king uh, and you take control of a zombie army. It's kind of like uh, a spin on the Infectionator series. I don't know if you guys seen that, but uh, also it's like a little more 3D. I already played one round, so I kind of already know what's happening. So I can show you guys the ropes here. So we're going to attack this, uh, this little campaign. And we're basically just marshalling our zombie forces. And we're going to come in here and attack these humans. Uh, who are just, they're just a bunch of policemen, actually. So they're just training here. Uh, it's packed with training cadets. Look at them. They're just getting ready to fight here. We've got these patrol officers here. And we gotta start off with our little horde of zombies here. We got a police car. The police cars are continually transporting policemen. So we got lots of reinforcements. Three police cars are on their way. Amalgodons are once again under command. So Amalgodons will. Ooh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose Amalgodon here. And then mouse over the target and click twice to upgrade our talent here so I can get brutal weapon. Uh, so here I can attack with telegraph poles and vehicles. Ooh, so Malkadons are basically just like this like like heroic zombie unit that's like super powerful. Um, and so it's considered a zombie general. And so you just uh, you can summon them with some of your mana. Uh, and it, you have like 250 sort of essence here to level up their skills during the battlefield. So we're going to get back here. And then summoning spell blood ritual. There we go. We're going to summon a Malkadon here. I think a Malkadon needs, he needs a group of zombies are back to life. They can lift cars to attack enemies. There we go, boys. All right, Amalgadon, let's go over there. Um, I'm not to chase the car, right? Am I trying to chase the car here? Oh, there's a second police car that's on the way. So Amalgadon here, oh, he has a telephone pole. He's going to stop that police car. And that police car, oh my god, Amalgadon attacks really fast. The police car's got a gun here. So there we go. There we go. So we just got to infect all the policemen there. Where's Amalgadon going? What did Amalgadon just do? Oh, he just used he just broke a boulder anyways um we got to infect all the policemen here and there's quite a lot of them i don't know how i'm supposed to do this here boys let's see blood revelry restores 300 health for all zombies in the area over 15 seconds so i can i can actually just get some mana here to heal up i can also increase his uh Amalgadon's attack speed and i can also get body slam maybe uh jumps and stomps on human vehicles fusion of flesh can grow themselves by absorbing nearby dead zombies i'm just gonna increase the Amalgadon's attack speed here it already looks pretty pretty big. So you use this here to select all your zombies, and you can just sort of send them on the way. Your zombies never time out. You can have commands that only target Amalgadon, and you have commands that target only your zombies. You can also cancel your commands here. This is your mana bar. These are your souls. You get more mana by killing things, and you also get more essence. Or souls, actually. Souls, I should say. I call it essence, but it's like souls. And they can upgrade your generals. And Amalgadon's just going to take that, take that police car here. All right, boys, just get in there. I think I can also summon an Amalgadon. I'm gonna turn Amalgadon. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn one of these guys into Amalgadon. There we go. Boom. A little bit of a waste, I think maybe. Amalgadon just died there. Um <laughs> Maybe not the best way to start off here, boys. Amalgadon's still there. Uh oh, some of those are still some of those zombies are still there. Oh, okay. So the police officers are gonna start shooting here. And uh Amalgadon's gonna hit him with the car! There's a zombie over here. Some of these other zombies. Oh wait, there's another Amalgadon? The Amalgadon just keeps coming back. It's the gift that keeps on giving, boys. I don't know how Amalgadon works, because I've, I've used another zombie that's like a fire a fire zombie. And he's just on fire, and he just sets everything on fire. So, I mean, there's that. We got the chain link fence here. The iron fence is pretty strong, actually. So humans can also take refuge in their buildings, you can see here. And then um, you can always uh, just uh, beat them up here. Like, you can attack the buildings with your zombies here. Come on, Amalgadon, stop picking up those cars! Oh my god, Amalgadon. Ah! Alright, I'm gonna go spawn another Amalgadon here. Just, uh, boom! I got three of them. This is gigantic beast. Just throwing these cars. These police officers are like, ah! So yeah, I don't know. I think this game is about to come out in like a full, full release. I'm just doing the prologue here on Steam because the prologue is gonna be unavailable soon TM, but you know, we're gonna catch it real quick while it's still available. Uh, so yeah, if you guys like like what you see right now, I think I don't know if the prog will still be available. It, it was available during the time of making this video. So yeah, we're 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 just like slamming through this base here, these buildings, and then eventually this thing will just once the contamination meter goes all the way up that that high, uh, eventually this building will just collapse. Like you can fit infinite numbers of zombies in here, and then they'll just collapse. And then I'm gonna get them to go here. I can also level up more amalgadon skills like fusion of flesh allows amalgadon to break its ascension limit. 
grows up. I can I can do that. So I can make it get bigger and bigger. It'll eat other zombies. You also speed it up here so the zombies run a bit faster. They're not the fastest things. Uh, but you probably don't want to do that when you're trying to make a critical combat decision. And there we go. Uh, we just smashed our way through there. And then that's chapter two. And then let's see. What's next on the map? There we go. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like. If you guys enjoy what you've seen so far, be sure to pick it up for yourself. The one thing I don't like is that I can't use my arrow keys to move around the map. So far, it seems. Also a little bit of a baby lag here, but it does. It does look kind of promising. I just wish I could like drag select to uh, choose my units here. Yeah, this is an important oil field for mankind, which supplies a large surrounding area. Okay, so we got to destroy the oil fields. Oil can easily burn. Our arsonists will definitely enjoy this mission. So we got to bring our flame wakers. Fire has little impact on brick walls, but Amalgadon Siege Attack might prove useful. So we gotta use both of our zombies that we've unlocked. If our police have lots of cars, they're Amalgadon's favorite. Yes, we can tell. So we gotta destroy the roller refinery at all costs. So basically we're starting off here. Uh, oh my god, that's a it's a fire raider? Is that like a Humvee with like a flamethrower on it? That uh, might be. So we gotta patrol this. So this is the map that we have to destroy, this giant oil field here. I don't know if we can take on that Humvee. We have a starting population that's still here for some odd reason. Like, they're still like, you know. And then we got these, like, grenade towers. Oh, that sounds bad. They're weak to siege attack. So I definitely need to get Amalgadons in here um, to help, like, bust things down. So I gotta go here, and I gotta choose Amalgadon here. He's got the Blood Revelry. Destroys 300 health. So these are active skills that you'll get. You can summon Amalgadon. Uh, siege health, health recovery. There we go. There's a chance to turn... Oh, he has chances to turn humans into Amalgadons? That's why we're getting so many Amalgadons there. We just got really lucky. Increases all zombies' health. Maybe we'll choose that aura here so it's gluttony, so it makes all our zombies super tanky. And also... Oh, I have to... I have to spend extra souls here to make them stronger. Uh, I can increase their siege attack by only 5. Increases health. So what I think I'm going to do here is just use Brutal Weapon. Holding a weapon basic attack still AoE... Uh, Amalgadon hurls vehicles at enemies, causing devastating... I don't know if I want him to pick up vehicles. I guess we can get him to pick up some vehicles here. So, we have just enough uh, mutation stuff to start off with a Amalgadon. But I want to make sure that I don't get gunned down by this uh, Humvee. So it's like making a patrol, so it's going all the way over there. So when that happens, I'm going to turn one of these poor souls into an Amalgadon. And then turn one of these guys into that. And then, let's go. Amalgadon's got that attack speed. He's got that spatula, boys. He's going to beat everybody up with that spatula. There's no cars here, but I think he can go and pick up that Humvee. We'll see here, boys. The Humvee is driving super slow here. But uh, once they figure out that there's an attack coming around here, uh, it might not like it as much, boys. There we go. There we go, boys. Uh-oh. Um, well, my zombies are just chasing people around. So, there we go. I don't think the Humvee sees. The Humvee can't see us. So, anyways, we can also level up our Amalgadon here. I'm gonna get that body slam. Jumps and stomps on human vehicles. Dealing AoE damage. I can jump on people? Oh, man. Grows up to restores a portion of itself. I'm gonna get that blood transfusion here. Because Amalgadon sort of seems like a very tanky sort of, uh, sort of guy here. I'm gonna destroy all of these buildings here. All these people are just trying to hide inside this mall. But uh, I'll tell you what, it's not happening. Oh, we got a second Amalgadon here. Oh, man. Uh, the chance to turn something into an Amalgadon seems pretty high uh, by the looks of it. Uh, because I definitely don't remember getting that many Flame Walkers. So I will need to get some Flame Walkers assigned to our team as well. We got three Amalgadons, four Amalgadons. Oh, my God. All right, go, go, go break that building down, boys. Go break that building. Break it down. Did we get all these guys here? I think we got all those guys here. We got a lot of Malgadons here. Okay, so I need to get these boys, and I think we just gotta move in. We gotta move in. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna a move in there. Um, Blood Revelry. I can't use that move yet. Oh yeah, wait, no, I can. But how come I can't use it? Is it because my zombies are full health? There we go. Get in there, boys. Um, is there any ordinary humans in here? I'll turn you into a. Amalgadon. There we go. We got the grenades going on here. Get the car, boys. Alright, come on. Come on. 
Oh, got my Amalgadons. Oh, that Amalgadon jumped on... He jumped on the car! He jumped on the car! Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to choose this guy as well. going to get the Flame Waker here. I uh, can't really get the Pillar Flyer. So, anyways, Flame Waker has got some extra spells here. Uh, come on, break through. Break him down. Oh, he's Amalgadon's got AoE attacks. The police officers, they're coming forward here. The Body Slam. You know, no match for Amalgadon here. We're just going to destroy all these buildings. So I just need the Flame Wakers over here to destroy the oil wells. But that government building looks very well guarded. I'm not gonna go, go, go in there. Go in there. There's a lot of police in there. There's 50 of them in there. They just all went in here and hid. Man. All right. Well, let's break that police station. All these units are coming inside. Some of those police are getting infected. They're getting turned. You can see their, their human count is going down. I think these are how many weapons that they have inside. Oh, no, no. They're, they're getting out. They're getting out. They're trying to book it out of here, boys. They're like, I'm out. I'm out of here. Well, sucks to be you, boys, because I'm going to get some Flame Wakers out here. There we go. There we go, Flame Wakers. Oh, those are residents. Those aren't even police, boys. Oh, no, there are some police. Um. Uh. So this immolation here, I can turn a bunch of zombies into uh, Flame Wakers, uh, which will be very potent. There we go. There we go. Are we Are we through? I think we're through here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send an attack order there, and before we go there, I got Pillar of Fire, and I'm gonna increase the attack speed of my Malgadons. I'm gonna increase the splash damage of my Flame Wakers here, because we're gonna need that a little in a, in a second, boys. We got the cars here. The Flame Wakers are coming in, and I think what I'll do here is turn these zombies into Flame Wakers here. So they're gonna be temporary Flame Wakers. So they're gonna die after they're gonna die after a few moments, but I need that I need that high power damage burst here. Uh, we got some cars being thrown in here. The Malgadons are going back for some more cars. They're gonna try and like break those things. Oh no, these are brick walls. The Flame Wakers are bad against brick walls. All right, well that's okay. That's okay, boys. The Flame Wakers uh, they came in clutch, boys. They came in clutch. We got some fire coming in here. They're still more powerful than the regular zombie. Uh, so let's get in there, boys. Well, let's break them apart. Let's break those buildings apart. I just don't like that the Amalgadons come and pick up the cars. I wish I can uh, control them a little bit more. There we go. It's gonna. There we go. I'm gonna break up those buildings. Break up those buildings. I, mean, I suppose they're zombies, so you can't really control them with uh, the same finesse as you control like soldiers, I guess, in a in a proper, in like a not proper, but like a, a classic RTS. You know what I'm saying? This is it. This is a pretty RTSy. All right, boys. I want you guys to. Uh, Crack this place open and get her in there. Got some gasoline canisters. Okay, they broke that side open. Okay, and then I'm gonna make sure that I can get a cold snap reduces the cooldown. I'm gonna get that so my flame wakers can use their pillar of flame a little bit more often. Uh, come on, Amalgadons, break that thing down. Break it down, boys. Break it down. Set this place on fire, boys. There we go. There's like one. There's like oh no, that's a zombie. There's a policeman over here. Oh no, that that's just the tower, boys. That's just the tower. The whole place blew up. There we go. There we go, boys. Swarm the city survey. So this is. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna click, click the close. I do like it. It's one of the reasons why I'm making a video about it right now. So we got some parts here, and you can go to Deathgate here, which is um where you have all of these cool like sort of skills and everything you can level up so it's like a little bit rpg-esque aspect so you got these two resources here this rune point increases all ordinary zombies i don't actually have a rune so i can't really equip these guys with runes i unlocked this by accident but if you have a rune you can like make them stronger and you can also increase their ability uh power so you have these like crafting items and stuff which is really cool i really like this sort of rpg-esque element so you can like level up your your guys so they get stronger uh, Amalgadon's a pretty good, like, tank, but I can't really upgrade anything here because Amalgadon's upgrade components are different from, uh, Flame Walkers. So I li really like the Pillar of Flame, uh, Burning, Augments, Burning, After Break. I can get a rare, so it's like, maybe I can roll a rare? Burning deals additional epic when upgrading the talents under Burning in a stage. Soul costs will be reduced. Burning now works on metal units. Oh, that sounds really good, Dominance. Zombie fire resistance can exceed 100%. The excess fire damage will be turned into healing. Whoa, that's really cool. Um, Fireball is just his basic attack. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see what's here. You can like click on this, and then this will unlock 
my extra attack speed plus 10 percent and then what is this i don't know what this is i can't i can't see what these are but, but these are like the basic runes that you have and obviously you can like take them out i guess if you find any new ones um and yeah so i think what i'm going to do here is increases fireballs damage by 25 i'm going to use pillar of fire because pillar of fire is quite powerful um pillar of fire rune oh you got the pillar of fire rune so i can upgrade this i gotta hold on to it and then boom now i'm level two and i have to get I'll have to find rare gear. There we go. And I can also go to the store ah, to buy this gear. That's really cool. Well, I really like that aspect of it too. It might be a little grindy, but we'll see here. Um, wait, that's Death's Gate. Death's Gate's where I upgrade my units. So I go to the map here. And we got some more campaigns here. We got Petroville uh, 2.2. I think we just, uh, we, didn't we destroy this? We destroyed this. All right, where's our next part? Where's our next part, boys? Um, I guess I can... Am I gonna attack the same map again? Let's see. Oh, I want to. I want to see if I can like get a few more, get a few more clips of a, the gameplay here, for everyone. But so far, I enjoy it. Um, I think it could be a little bit more, like faster paced. But I guess like it's a little bit of the strategy. Ah, we've we've been here, we've been here, boys. All right, well. I think we'll end the video here then, because we've, we've been here before, so we don't need to see this attack once again. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this game, you can I think you can uh, get it for yourself, at least the prologue for now. But I think the game will be coming out on Steam pretty soon. So yeah, if you guys like what you see, be sure to cop it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires. They picked the wrong flight.